Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and my family and I just went on vacation so this is going to be a quick look at the room that we're staying at. I've done videos like this in the past of the hotels that I stayed at either in Orlando or in Vegas so I figured um, this was uh, a good uh, chance to kind of do one of those videos again. Uh, we are staying at the Wyndham Gardens in Marietta, Georgia. Um, and actually, it's a pretty funny story. I've stayed in this hotel before, but it was actually something else. They just renovated it. They're actually going through the process of renovating the hotel itself. All the rooms have already been renovated and it's now in Wyndham Gardens. I've never stayed at one of these hotels and uh, I wanted to make this video particularly because uh, it has a lot of really cool features, especially for people that do videos or that work with technology and things like that. So I wanted to show it to you guys. Now, as I mentioned, my family and I are on a quick vacation um, we drove up this morning from Miami, Florida, where we live at, to Atlanta, Georgia. It was about a 10-11 hour drive, depending on how much, how often you stop. But um, we're going to do a couple sightseeing and um, outings and stuff like that while we're here. Now, we chose this hotel because it was pretty centrally located to where we we're going around. And uh, another quick tip, if you guys do participate or come out to Blade Show, this hotel is actually about 10, maybe 15 minutes away from from the Cobb Galleria, which is where they host Blade Show. So if you like this video, um, you know maybe you can think about it, uh, about staying in this hotel. Now this is not a sponsored video. As always, I just like kind of showing you guys the, the rooms so it gives you a uh, perspective uh, as far as you know what to do and where to stay at. So again, this is the Wyndham Galleria in Marietta, Georgia. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and uh, turn the camera around and show you guys what the room looks like. All right, guys, so I am standing by the front door, the main door to the room. Now, this is a, a double uh, occupancy room, so that means it has two beds, and it's actually two queen-size beds. That was pretty important for us, specifically because there's four of us, so my wife and I, and then I have two boys, a 10-year-old and a 7-year-old, so we needed, uh, you know, obviously bigger beds and uh, more room. Now, um, from what I was told, all the rooms are pretty much very similar or exactly the same. I think it changes if you want like a king size bed or, or uh, two queens. But as far as the layout of the room and what it has and things like that are all the same. So again, this is two queen size beds. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start right here. Again, this is the front door. Uh, start in the bathroom here. Really cool upgraded bathroom. So uh, it has this uh, nice LED that goes around the whole uh, mirror there. And again, it's just a standard bathroom. So you have your toilet and then your shower with the um, this kind of uh, metal rod that com comes out. So it makes it look like the shower is actually bigger, but nice uh, white tile in there. And then um, stainless steel or silver, uh, you know, everything else, the soap dish holder and stuff like that. So I really like this mirror. The LED looks really cool all around it. And there it is the nice size mirror and then your uh, sink right there. All right. so. Going into back into the room, you have a nice full length mirror there. Again, if you're getting ready in the morning and stuff like that. And then you have a little closet right here. I'll go ahead and open that up. And inside the closet, you have a safe right there. So that's always cool. So you can uh, store any uh, electronics or belongings or anything like that. Little um, area to hang up clothes. And then you have your iron and an ironing board right there. So. Again, uh, it's a little it's a small size closet, but again, perfect, you know, for if you want to hang up your stuff. You do have an adjoining uh, room right here. So I'm on the third floor, so that will adjoin to another room right there. So if you guys rent two rooms, you can go ahead and get them joining. And then right there, you have this little bench. So obviously we're using it to kind of put some of our luggage there. So my bag and then the boys bag right there. So. Uh, I might actually be doing a review on this bag really soon. This is the Skycap from Vanquist. I've actually been using it uh, on a couple of trips that I've been going on and it's worked out really, really awesome. So uh, to, onto the room itself. I really like the way that the room is decorated. I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but sometimes you'll get like these weird paintings and stuff like that. This one looks really cool. It's actually like a one piece headboard for both beds, but you still have the headboard itself 
but the actual um, artwork on the wall is, uh, you know, like this road. So it obviously, on this side, on the left side is the road, and on the other side is like a forest. So it obviously gives you like this sense, like it makes it wider or more open and stuff like that. So you have the two queen size beds. The mattresses are really, really comfortable. Um, that's one thing I can say. So if you guys decide to stay in this room, the mattresses and the pillows are definitely top notch. Then you have this large kind of entertainment center here. So that houses the TV right on top. So you have a flat screen TV there. And then on the bottom you have a coffee maker and then uh, just your cups and water and stuff like that. And then hidden right in here is your little fridge. That's really cool. It's out of the way. It's kind of hidden behind that door. And uh, there you go. You have your fridge. There is no microwave in this room, but again, I think for the most part, um, you know, the fridge is pretty much all you need. Now, a couple of the really cool things. So you have this kind of floating uh, table here. So um, this end table there. And on top of it, so right here you have just your main light there. And you have these two little reading lights, which are really cool. You can actually point them towards, you know, whatever it is. Like if you're going to be reading in your, on the bed or whatever, and you can turn it on. They have one for each bed. And then on the wall right there, you have a couple of USB ports. So you guys can see uh, the boys are charging their iPads there. And then you have some regular plugs right there. They're right on top, which is really awesome. You don't have to go you know, searching underneath the bed or anything like that. And then even the clock right here, it has two USB and two plugs right there. So right on the little nightstand there, night table, you have four plugs and four USBs that you can charge everything that you really needed to charge. But besides that, you have a couple other options. Getting back to the entertainment center here, uh, I like the fact that they kind of built everything in one piece. So this entertainment center is one piece, which is also the desk. But then you have, you know, the headboard, which is also one piece too. So uh, the desk is actually underneath here and nice uh, comfortable chair. And the desk actually rolls in and out. So that's really cool. Not too far, but it rolls in and out. So if you want to roll it out and use it, you can go ahead and do that. But on top of here, uh, really cool artwork right there. We have a couple other entertainment things, which are really cool. So you have this nice um, kind of chrome lamp here. And as you guys can see, there are two more plugs right there. And uh, they're just charging their uh, Nintendo DS's there. And then you also have a USB plug right there in the middle too. So again, two more plugs and a USB port. And then the lamp, you can actually turn it on and it's nice and bright, LEDs right there. Or if you wanted to use it like kind of like a night light, you go the other way and just this little section right here, it turns on. So that's really cool too, nice little touch. Uh, right here, this is the first I've ever seen of this, but the trash can actually has two of them. You have regular trash, and then in the back you have recycling. So that is really cool also. And then on this entertainment center, last but not least, you have this little piece right here that you press on, and it comes up, and then you get two more plugs and two more USB ports. So again, as you guys can see, you have a lot of connectivity as far as to be able to charge your devices. You don't have to go behind the desk, behind the, um, you know, the, uh, the bed or anything like that to find the plugs or anything like that. And you have this, uh, this uh, lamp right here, standing lamp. Another really cool thing, um, here is the switch to turn it on. So it's right up here, nice and high. You can you know, get it from the bed. It's not down below hanging from a power cord or anything like that like you might see in, in other hotel rooms or anything like that. And then you have this little chair right here with an ottoman. Let me kind of push it closer. That's the one that I was sitting on at the beginning of the video. And again, it's uh, really cool, you know, if you want to kind of sit and read or something like that. And then obviously some more luggage right there. So all in all, I think for the most part, this is a great, great room, especially if, you know, if maybe you're traveling for business or like in our case, you're traveling for pleasure and you, know, you want a lot of room. This, uh, you have a lot of options, you know, you can sit down and work, you can lay on the bed and work and watch TV. Uh, and one thing that I really like about this hotel, and I don't know if we can see it, this is looking out the window here. That building right over there, so right in the parking lot, it's actually an Applebee's. So that's where we'll be having dinner tonight. You can just walk right over there and have you some dinner. It's right in the front of the hotel, which is really, really cool. Like I mentioned, um, I did stay in this hotel a couple years back when I came for Blade Show about two or three years ago, and it was something else. Um, I think it was like a Best Western or Baymont or something like that. But now it is a, the Wyndham Garden by, uh, in Marietta, Georgia. So 
Hey again, uh, I just wanted to kind of post this video in case you guys are visiting the Atlanta area, maybe for Blade Show next year or any other um, of the attractions. You know, we're, we're probably going to go to the zoo, maybe hit up the aquarium, the world of Coca-Cola, things like that. Might go to Stone Mountain. So I might be shooting some other videos of those, uh, of those different attractions while I'm here. But again, this is a great centralized location and the room itself is really nice. The hotel is going, is being renovated. So like the lobby and stuff like that are still not painted or anything like that, but all the rooms have been renovated and they're all pretty much the same from what I've been told. So again, uh, great, great affordable rates and I uh, would definitely recommend that you check them out. So there it is. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.